Pierre is here from Green Valley, which happens to be where I live. And where the drummer lives also. Well, ladies and gentlemen, we're back for the second set of the Glendon Gross and Friends group. Yeah, so we're excited. We're going to kick this off with a tune that Pierre requested, which is also one of my favorite tunes, All the Things You Are. We'd like to ask Fred to join us on flute horn if he wants to. Connecting Cultures show from the Coffee Exchange.
First set to my dear friend John Amwick, who used to be our, our regular piano player and bassist. His uh, partner in crime is here, and uh, John passed away on Christmas Eve in 2020, much too soon. We are all missing him. But Vicki Mountain is here, and so she's going to sing some with us, and this is going to take you back to Minneapolis. So please pick a, a big round of applause for Vicki Mountain. All right. Two things, or, or at least two. Yeah. yeah, this one's easy. 
What's it called? Remember it. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah, I think we can just handle it. Just a swing. I think we can handle it. Just what, what can you do? love potion number one. It's an A minor. <laughs> I have two of them, but he can see it over here. Yeah, I think. Get the other one ready. Okay, sure. Yeah, I'm not time right now, but we'll figure it out. Okay, Uh, it's right over there. Okay, so. So, so so how about. Just about right? It has to move. One, two, two, one, two, one, two, two, one, two, two,
Thank you. Oh, um, and I'm Glenn has just asked me to tell you the Big City Blues, which is a song that John and I, uh, well, I didn't write all the words to it, but I'm the only one that's ever performed it. It was from part of a play that John was, uh, Trouble. Trouble. John was the uh, music director for called the, and yeah, some got cut down some pies, some heads of pies. Excuse the band. Well, I know, I can't sing over this many horns. I'm sorry. It's okay. <laughs> Yeah, it is going to feed back. I can get back here. That would be helpful. So this is the Big City Blues. Keep it down, guys. Keep it down.
Inside. We're here at the Coffee Exchange, courtesy of the Connecting Cultures TV show. My name is Eddie Rodriguez, producer and host. Ready? One, two, one, two, one, two.
Now, you know, John is, we both know John really well, so. And that's all the time we have for set two. So I briefly am going to introduce the band. Over here is Mr. Malik Al-Kabir, master of the tenor saxophone. Originally <laughs> from Morocco, one of the original founders of Tucson Jazz Institute, if I'm not mistaken. And uh, Eddie Rodriguez shooting our Facebook Live camera for the Connecting Culture Show. Jamar Harmon on the keyboards. <laughs> By the way, if you, if you like a black gospel, you can hear Jamar over at Rising Star Baptist Church every yeah. Sunday. You can hear me at Trinity Missionary Baptist. We're both on the payroll over at those churches, playing every Sunday, which is which is a wonderful thing. Yeah. Now, here's Michael Griggs to be my student, my former student, I should say, because he's surpassed any of my other students. Mr. Michael Griggs be on the bass. Yeah. Lovely and talented Kathy Frank on the drums. Daughter of the great Art Frank, who played with Chet Baker, so she grew up listening to Chet Baker, oh, wow. and so that's why you play so well. Huh? That's why she she knows how to exactly. She heard Art Frank play too. Yeah, you, I, I heard her dad give her a lesson, and I thought, how can anybody get anything out of it? Because it sounded like a foreign language, and then she got everything. And it was incredible. I was watching it. It's amazing. He's a wonderful musician, Art Frank. If you haven't read his books on Chet Baker, Chet Baker: The Missing Years is Volume One. I forgot the title of volume two, but there's two volumes out. The found years. You know, it's, it's a, it's a, it covers a different time span. And um, Ken, Mr. Ken Barry, who's also worked with Art Frank, the tenor saxophone. And he's got a flute here, too. We're going to try to use some flute in the next set. And Mr. Fred Young sitting in on flute and Thank you, Fred. And I'm going to try to, I hope, by the way, Nikki Douglas is in the house. If you haven't heard Nikki sing, she's one of the best singers in the whole area. I mean, this, to have you sing with us next set if you'd sing something with us. We'd just love to have you join us for something. So uh, thank you so much. And um, Mr. Pierre. Hey, Greg. Yes. Yes. Ardennes. 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 I kind of get that name right. Pierre Ardennes. It sounds French. Pierre Ardennes. Ardennes. Okay. And um, my name is Glenn Gross. I'm yeah, trying to pick one. Thank you so much for listening. If you like what you hear, we do accept tips. This is our tip jar. And your gift, no matter the size, is greatly appreciated. Oh, and Miss Stevie Woods. Miss Stevie Woods singing to our regular singer. So many people. I, I don't want to neglect Stevie. She's, she's uh, at the core of our group. She has been for 10 years. So thank you so much. And uh, we'll be right back with more music. Thank you. Well, ladies and gentlemen, that was the end of the second set. We'll be back in a short time with the third and final set here from the Coffee Exchange. My name is Eddie Rodriguez, producer and host of the Connecting Culture Show. Courtesy of that show, I am bringing you the Glendon Gross and Friends Jazz Band here from the Coffee Exchange. Stay tuned. We'll be right back in just a little bit.